Museum. We've got that coming up next on San Antonio Living. All right, so you heard from the museum expert, but now let's talk to our etiquette expert, our very own Diane Gotsman. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You know what? Let's talk do's and don'ts in a museum because it can be a little intimidating, in my opinion, when it goes to a, a museum to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to. That's right. It's just about being respectful. I like this. Okay, let's start from the beginning. This is one that it's my absolute favorite. Don't be an art snob. So that means don't be a know-it-all. Okay. You might know a whole lot about art. You may know a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, unless somebody is asking you a question, even if you're an expert, you know, keep it to yourself. When people are strolling around, you don't need to give them a tutorial. Just, uh -huh. just stay Maybe with Maybe wait until they ask. That's right. If they ask, very good. Well, you know, especially here at the McNay Art Museum, there's a lot of statues. And so naturally, I might want to take a picture with them, maybe uh, pose a little bit and touch. Probably shouldn't touch. Do not touch. And if there's a rope, and this is any museum, if mm -hmm. there's a rope, don't step over the rope. Don't look around and think, well, no one can see me. I'm just going <laughs> to touch. Because, you know, not too long ago, uh, an American in another city was touching the, the art exhibit and broke off a finger. <gasps> oh. And can you imagine the bad press on that? I bet oh, yeah. he feels really bad. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, sometimes whenever you're looking at really beautiful art, you get kind of hungry. <laughs> Don't well, eat. I get hungry all the time. Don't eat. You know, eat before you go. And even if you want to have a little nibble, meaning mm -hmm. a little candy or a gum, try not to do it. And if you have to do it, if you have to break those mm -hmm. rules, Put the trash in the receptacle. Don't drop your trash. You know, that is common sense, Alana, yeah, but you know, it, it happens. Mm -hmm. And it's all about uh, being respectful. It's about being polite. Now, let's say there's a lady that's coming and her shoes are a little uncomfortable and she might want to lean on the wall a little bit. That's probably an absolute no. Uh, that would be a no. Or, you know, don't forget purses that get kind of big and cumbersome, so leaning up against the mm -hmm. wall. Or if you have something on you that has a buckle on it, it scratches the wall. Now, what would you say the overall rule of thumb would be if you're going to the museum, they happen to miss today, what would you say? it would be the best way to go. Well, I think it's all a matter of being polite, being conscientious, and one more rule. Don't put your kids on top of your shoulders to see because it ah. blocks everybody behind you. Very good. You don't think about stuff like that. But all right, Diane, of course, we can always rely on you for the etiquette uh, that we need to know, especially here at the McNay Art Museum. You can contact Diane. Actually, you can get all of her information at dianegotsman.com. Thank you for the